Yeah, top four equals played bad. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have made the final or had a shot to beat Magnus. But, I mean, look, it's not always going to work out this way. And frankly, what... Because this opponent's going to play the Gurganidze. This is a setup that I faced many, many times over the years. Um, normally, black plays h5. Let's go bishop e2 here. I think bishop e3 is fine. Now, I had a game in this in um, Asheville, North Carolina against Alexander Ivanov. I think it was in um, 1999. We, he played the same kind of setup with like a knight f5 and bishop e6. So it's this is kind of known. I, I haven't looked at it much recently, but it's considered to be pretty dubious nowadays. Let's just castle the king here. Okay, let's go knight e1, maybe knight d3. I'm going to play knight d3 or maybe... No, I think b3 is good just to cut the square for the knight. Um, and I'm going to go knight d3, knight c5 next move. Let's go... I think I can play a4 if I want to, but I think just knight d3, knight c5 looks very pleasant here. Ah, yes, I remember random 1999 games. It happens from time to time. I, I don't remember. The only reason I remember that game, you guys, I'll tell you why I remember that game. The reason I remember that game is because um, it was a very it was a very tense game. Like, we played this very long game. It won, like, six hours. Those of you who know of Alexander Ivanov, he's, a, he's an American grandmaster. Um, he gets very low on time in many, many games. So that's why I remember, because it was a very long game. It was, like, six hours. I was, like, better, and then I was worse, and then I was, like, better again. And, um... And then at the end, uh, did I just blunder? Takes, takes, takes is fine. Um, and then at the end, like, I, I just let it slip. And, and so that's why I remember the game very well. Let's go bishop f2 and just take with the pawn. If take, actually, I had e6, which was just winning. I missed e6. Why didn't I just play e6? Okay, now I will play e6, kick the knight back, uh, and go, like, knight c5 or knight f3. Thank you, dk for the 11. Thank you so much. Thank you, Evelyn, uh, as well. Let's go knight f3 here. Play knight c5 and queen e2. This looks very good. The knight on b8 is very bad here for black. Yeah, I know Daniel hit 3,500. I, I mean, I've said it before, like, and I'll say it again. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's within the rules. But I feel like chess.com really needs to, uh, they need to fix their rating system. Because they, they have 30 second and, and one minute ranked the same way. And actually, the guy that I'm playing, Jim, he, he uh, normally in, like, one minute bullet, he's, like, 3,000-ish. And um, and he's also he's also 3,200 now. So if Daniel's looking to gain more rating points, he should totally play against this guy because this guy is definitely um, definitely a little bit overrated. I don't really know what I'm doing in this game, by the way. I've actually played this game very poorly. Let's go 94 here, maybe 95. The second to last game, why did I go like that? Was a super fast draw, uh, mainly because I didn't feel like I was playing very well. I didn't feel like I was playing good chess, and if I'm not playing good chess, I don't mind. Even though statistically you want two two opportunities is better than one, I just I felt like I was playing bad chess, and I figured you know what, I'll let it ride on one game with the white pieces. So that that's that's the uh, rationale behind it. Okay, goes knight six. I can take rook d8 and then rook a6. Is this winning? Not clear actually. I can also go knight d7. Maybe just, no, rook a6. Let's just go here and consolidate. No capture, not giving up a pawn on d4 here. Okay, rook d8, that's a good move. Let's go knight d7. I don't want him to get this pawn. If he doesn't get this pawn, I should be much better long term. I've got really good pieces here. He's trying to go knight e2. I don't really want to give him that. Let's go king f1 to stop this idea. He, he wants to put more pressure on this pawn. All right, it goes rook c8. I can play knight e5 here if I want to. I think rook a6 is actually pretty good. Just target the knight. If he goes back, I go knight c5, and I'm doing pretty well. Still a good run. I can't imagine the pressure of having to win. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty nerve-wracking. And, and you know, that's what I would add. There, there are a lot of people who have said things like, well, you know, chess, how can it be an eSport? But again, the pressure and, and sort of the drama that you have in every single match going on, I, I think, I mean, I feel like the drama is just as high, if not higher, than it is in, um, you know, something like League even, frankly. So that's just my honest opinion. You don't have to agree with it, but that's my opinion. Uh, why did I do this? I guess I have to go back. 
Let's go here and target this juicer, and now I'm just winning. I guess I take with the pawn? I don't know. actually know which pawn I take. I don't actually know which pawn I take. I'm going to take with this one. I don't know if it's right. I could have taken with the other one. Now I'm up a juicer. And I should be winning here. I think I just go here. I dominate the knight. I can go rook a7. Okay, but now this should be cleanly winning. I just need to maneuver my king around. And I'm just going to slowly relax, take a deep breath. Actually, I can eat the juicer here too. Um, that was kind of careless of me, but it's still... I'm going to go here, knight d7. Let's go here. He can't move the knight because then I just take and check. Oh, I'm low on time. How am I low on time? Whoa. There we go. Thank you, Paschetti, for the eight months as well. Thank you so much. Let's play the Queen's Gambit accepted here. Do I think Wesley has a chance in the final? Of course he does. If he, if, he, if he plays well, he's very solid. I think he has a chance. Um, I mean, Magnus is obviously the favorite, but anything can happen. Let's go B5, Knight to 7. I don't want to trade off Queens. Um, actually, I don't really have a choice. Let's just take. This is actually quite bad. Um, let's go here. Let's go B4. Thank you, Thriller, for the Tier 1. Appreciate it. Thank you. I think I can play. I'm gonna go here and here, maybe. Is there still a tiebreaker if it's 2 2? Uh, that depends on the, the result of the first match, is, is what it matters on. Oh, is the music too. Um, I think it sounded as good, you guys. That's what I was told, at least. It sounded as good. So let's go here, target the juice, or I can drop back, or maybe. It actually was a bad move. I should have just gone Bishop E7. I don't know why I did this. Uh, I don't play Nepo, no. We split the prize money. The prize money is split between the two of us. Okay, I guess I just take and take and go like Rook C7. Target something here. He'll take, I'll take. I'm very proud of your play today. Good luck in the future. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not it's not the end of the world. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm unhappy with the, the overall result, but I, I didn't play well. And I mean... If, if your opponent plays better than you, in many ways, um, you know, it's that's just life. He's going to go rook c1. I'm going to take. I don't know if I can draw this. It's actually kind of really dangerous. Maybe even just losing. What am I doing, actually? This looks really bad. Maybe knight c5 or something? Maybe knight b6 or knight d5? Oh, I just blundered that. Yikes. So if he takes, I can just... Go back, maybe? This is really bad for me. I don't know why I played this opening. This is a completely fine opening, but normally you play it to draw. Okay, plays e4, which I actually think is a bad move, because now I'm going to get some counterplay on this queen side. Like, I go g4, takes, and I take. It's a little bit... It's still completely winning for white with correct play, but... Oh, I could have taken h2. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, that was a mistake by me. Okay, but he gives it to me again. I'm just going to do it this time. If e5, just knight d5 or knight g4. There's knight b4. Okay. Just so try and take the pawn. Let's go here. Maybe h3. Drop the bishop back in h2. Okay, goes there. Let's go here. Target the knight. If takes, I take e4. This is getting a little bit tricky now for my opponent. Um... Aha, uh -huh, that's a good... Okay, let's go here, knight g5, maybe. It's still tricky. I have bishop e7, I have h3 ideas. I also have a5 at the right moment. Let's go here. Um, let's go here. I have h2, takes, takes, takes. Probably this is a draw, actually. Maybe, although... I don't know. Okay, takes, but now I take. 
I take and now I take. Actually, I probably should not have. I should have taken with the knight. Maybe. I don't know. The knights are better for jumping. We'll see. I have knight c4 maybe. Okay, now I should be able to definitely draw this. I think Levy's done quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Let's go here. Um, this is actually getting a little bit messy. Not sure how easy this is for white to draw anymore. I have here, king d4. It's getting a little bit tricky. I have e4. Whoa, what's going on here? Let's go here, f3. Somehow my opponent has really misplayed this. It's still probably a draw with correct play, but this is getting very dicey. So he goes knight d1. I'm gonna check and go here. a5, I just take. I mean, king d2 is a problem. Just take. Okay, I think I can... Maybe go here and nah, it's probably still just a draw. Although I have king d2 maybe. I also Let's go here. I'm gonna win. Wow, I'm gonna win this game. Amazing. 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 Let's go check. Amazing. Let's go again. Um okay, let's play let's play e4. Play d4, knight c3. What was that? Uh, that was called, um, that was called my opponent really played very poorly. That's what it's called. That, that was not a good game. That was, that was very, very poor. I'm gonna go here, maybe c3 or something. I, I don't know if this is right, but I, I, maybe I'll rotate. Actually, I'm just gonna go c3. He's going for some very weird, like 96 weirdness, but I have f5 always. You look beautiful in this lighting. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go here. Target the juicer. I can always trade. E6 is coming. F5. This is a very, very pleasant position for white here. Thank you to Nitro P again for the prime. Thank you to Thrashix for the five. Thank you to Anish for the uh, seven. Thank you so much. Thank you to Hanserham as well for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Okay, let's go Queen E2. I, I really want to like maybe play E6, maybe play F5, maybe ask my opponent what he's doing. Of course, now he gets his bishop stuck. Um... This bishop is completely hemmed in. He has no scope. It's stuck behind this pawn wall. And now he's going to get checkmated um, in a very unhappy manner very, very soon. Because queen h2. Um, if he survives this, then I'm impressed. But I think he's just getting checkmated, basically. Thank you to uh, Do Do Doji Life. Thank you for the prime. Thank you to RT Fran for the prime. Thank you to Ruthless for the prime as well. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes rook f6, so I mean... I mean, first of all, I have queen h8 to be extravagant, but do I have some special checkmate? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I really just... I'm just going to be clean with knight h5. Let's go here. Thank you. Thank you, Goku. Appreciate it. Thank you for the uh, 17 months. Now, when he takes the knight, I go check, and he loses his queen. Let's go check. Let's eat the queen. He resigns. Let's, or actually, I had a force checkmate as well. Let's play something different. Let's play g6, play a king's Indian. Um, let's play the Benoni. Um, let's play e6, takes a6 here. This is actually not right somehow. Why is this not right? There's something wrong with this setup, I think. Why did I lose? Because uh, my opponent played better than me. I mean, I don't think either of us played great, to be fair, in the critical moments. But Wesley was was better when it mattered in in the one critical game yesterday. I mean, that's that's just how it goes. Those are margins. Um, let's go knight d seven. Maybe knight f six next move. It's all all pretty good here. Um, what does a5 do? Nothing really. I could have jumped in maybe and gone for it. But I was worried about some rook a4 tricks. It probably was just good, but that's life. Let's go knight d7. I think it's groovy for the four months. I think it's groovy. 
Where are we at? We're at what? 60, 6893. Let's try to get to, uh, let's try to get to 7,000. Um, I can play C4. I can also go B5. I can also play like, I think I'm just going to go Rook B8, B5 next move. Um, let's just go here. I can take and go Bishop D4. I can also take with the Knight. E, e. Eh, I'm going to take with the Bishop. I know if it's right, but I think if I take with the Bishop of F4, I just go back and it was the same thing if I take with the Knight. So not too concerned. Now I'm going to try to launch on the Queen side. Thank you to Dr. Dan, um, Dr. Dan, Street Practitioner. Thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate it. By the way, you guys, regardless of the result, um, one second. We're, I pinned a message. Let me try to try to pull this. Um, yeah, so um, one second. Let's go Queen B4, create the right triangle here. Big shout out to everyone who's watching. Once again, one of the one of the things that really brings it home, you guys, um, is, is hearing from hearing from people. And there was this I think, post, I think it was, on YouTube, and I saw someone mention it in Twitch earlier where it says, You are the man, Hikaru. I'm a 45-year-old bricklayer from Ohio, and we listen, we listen to your games at work with this tournament going on. Everybody is getting super into, into it. Who would have thought about chess? Magnus who? <laughs> uh, so big shout out to uh, to bricklayer to the bricklayers. I saw someone earlier that was w w was in here. Um, I think they said they were a twenty second twenty uh, second district or twenty second something um, for bricklayers. But big shout out to all of them. Um, again, big shout out to everyone who watches the stream. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna go here, kick the juicer, go here, queen b three, maybe knight a four also is a move. I really like my position here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to CS Sleep for the two as well. Would the result have been different if it was a blitz match? Maybe. I mean, I think we saw that when Wesley got really low on time in that, like, in that final, or not final game, but in that um that first white game of the day, the very shaky up and down game, when he got down to those, like, 20 seconds, he made some very serious mistakes. And he was lucky that it wasn't losing when he made those mistakes, but he was making more mistakes. So probably in blitz, yeah. Although, having said that, Wesley and I are probably going to actually play in blitz in the Speed Chess Championship. Um, probably being the keyword because I think he's through, but I'm not through. So, um, so we'll see. But yeah, a loud knight of eight. Yeah, I mean that was that was pretty dirty. Let's go queen b3 and just. Um, why did I do that? Actually, it was stupid. I guess I just dropped back and now we're k3 queen b4. I'm I'm playing this game a little bit too loosey goosey. Yeah, it goes there. I expected that. I think I'm gonna just bring my queen back. I was a little bit worried about some way that he traps it. I can also go f5 here. I just want to loosen it, target the rook, target the center. Everything is very weak here for uh, for white. If he goes bishop d2, I think I can just go back now. I think I just go back. I, st I still just want to take. If he takes, I take the juicer. What is this? So if he takes, I just take. I remove the defender, and he loses something. And if he takes the other way, he loses this this guy. Okay, so he's definitely made some mistakes here, but it's still very unclear as far as what's going on. I'm just going to play Rook A8. If Knight E4, I think I'm actually going to go C3 probably, although I do have Bishop F5 as well. If he goes Rook A3. Um, okay, uh, actually, it is a move, so when he takes, I just take. What does that do? That does nothing. I'm just going to go here. I don't know if it's good, but I, I got a move. That's surprising. Let's go back. He creates weaknesses around his king now. Game's going to get a little bit chaotic pretty soon because neither of us has much time. Um, I just take. He can't take, so I guard it, of course. And now I, it's like, you know, everything is defended. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. What's the move? Definitely better. Um, let's just go here and take. Goes there. Um... I'm gonna go back and just take with the queen, basically, because now my now everything's held together. All the glue is holding. I can go here. I can go check. Also, let's just go here. Target the pawn. Um, let's just go here. Target the juicer. Just go here, and I have queen h4 for the, the 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 hammer, and that's game over. I don't know what that does exactly. I just take and take. Okay, we're back at 3,200. Now, as you guys know, my last stream before the event, I um, I actually lost like 60 points. I was down at 3,140. Um, let's go bishop e3. I'm going to play h3, bishop f2 here. Maybe g4 next move. 
go here now f3 so yeah I was, as i was saying guys sorry um i was at 3143 um and then i um then uh and and then i played a little bit off stream last night i think specifically and i got my rating all the way back up so um so it's all good now, the problem for my opponent here is that he ends up with this bishop that's... There's, like, this huge pawn mass, so his bishop never has scope. Like, my bishop is behind pawns, but eventually it's going to have scope. His bishop has no scope because the pawns just blew it in there. Ludwig says, hello to Hikaru. I, uh, I just trapped the juicer now, actually. Look at these pawns. They just end the game. I think I'm going to try to adopt this guy. Uh, let's just castle, play rook h1. Um, go here. Let's go here. I mean, he's trying to hold on, but eventually something's going to crack. Um, what am I doing? I'm just up. I'm up a piece. Like, what, what's the big deal? I can just chill. Yeah, let's go here. Queen c3. Let's go here. Knight c5. This is all very, very happy. He's going to go rook a7, so I'll go... There's knight f7. It's actually a good move, but I'll just go here and take, I guess. I've made a bit of a mess out of this, but it's still it's still almost certainly winning for me. Let's drop back. I'm going to move the queen over. can always go c3 to hold the pawn. Let's go c3, hold the pawn, no issues. Now, the way that I'm going to win this game, as you guys will see, it should be pretty instructive, is I'm going to ro rotate the bishop to h4. This is step one. Step two will be to bring the knight and put the bishop back in. So we're going to put the bishop here. This is step two. Step three is going to bring bring my knights over this way and attack him and win the game over here. Why do you play from TSM? It seems to give you bad luck. Um, I don't know about that. I mean, I thought I thought actually I had an amazing comeback yesterday and I tied for first in the, in the actual uh, qualification. So I, I don't really understand what you're saying. <laughs> Let's go here in e7. Let's go rookie one and rookie six next move. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I actually don't even understand what you're trying to suggest. I'm going to go here to be really fancy schmancy. Let's go check. Let's just take. If takes, I just take the rook. Yeah, he does this, but it doesn't do anything. Let's just check. And that's the game over. Yeah, top four equals played bad. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have made the final or had a shot to beat Magnus. But, I mean, look, it's not always going to work out this way. And frankly, what... I Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Okay. Um, that was, uh, shall we say, a little bit weird. <laughs> this talking my story, then I see Queen D4. Um, all right. So where was I? So, um, yeah, I would have liked to have played Magnus. But I would also say, frankly, historically, I've had some huge wins against Wesley in critical matches, um, which I would argue are far more important as well. Thank you to OK Thundercat for the Prime, Mr. Pow Pow for the Tier 1, and XX Slayer for the Tier 1. Thank you to Toby Rom for the three months. Like, for example, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I played in the Millionaire Chess Tournament in um, in uh, in um, in Las Vegas. I played in that in uh, 2015, I believe it was. And I had this very tough match with, with Wesley just to qualify for the Final Four. And I ended up beating Wesley in this very difficult, very long match to finish in the top four. And then I went on to, to win the whole event and win $100,000. So when you guys talk about, like, I mean, talk about it like that, like, come on. Like, I mean, I'll take that or I'll take that and losing this match any day of the week. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just saying. I'm just saying, you guys. I'm just saying. Let's go A4. Why do I play from TSM? Um, well, I mean, first of all, they are a sponsor of mine. Second, or not sponsor, so I, I, I am part of TSM. So uh, why not? Why not? I mean, it, you know, they, they took a chance on me. They're a traditional esports org, and they took a huge chance signing me. So I think, you know, on some level, I should show my appreciation and gratitude, first of all. Um, let's play Queenie 2. And then secondly, uh, the internet's really, the internet's great here. It's high speed. The lighting is much better. So I don't see any any reason not to. Uh, I'm going to go here and line up the Rook. Oh, but he's got Queen 8, which, ah, I forgot about Queen 8. just take and if 95 would go knight c7 i have forked the queen and the rook so he's got to take another way and this is just going to be really this should be really bad for black i'm going to line up some threats here there are all kinds of 
Do I? Oh, this is a beautiful one. So I, I, I fossilize the rook. He can't move the queen because then he loses that one. So it's just a pure fossil. Just take the rook. Just go queen d5, line it up. Classic right triangle. Okay, let's just take. And then I just... Um, I can actually take, but I, or no, that would be bad. Um, wait a second, let's think. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Bring the rook in. He takes a juicer, but I just bring my other rook in. Oh, I miss this. Okay, whatever. I just go here, here, here. And king d3. I blockade everything, and this, this is just pretty cleanly winning. I'm gonna play g4 here. Probably h4 next move. If takes, I go here. I bring the other rook in, because this rook is really good, but this rook is not good on f1. Let's just take. Let's go here and just go for the classic double. No, 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 no. Let's go here and king d5. Um, I can actually do this and just take, I guess. This looks pretty clean. So here would be great con to play a horror game. Yeah, I could. I'm pretty relaxed. I'm not. I mean, I'm unhappy with with the result, obviously. But when when you feel like you didn't play your best chess and your opponent just played better than you, I mean, there isn't really much to be. I mean, there isn't much that you can really nitpick or be that unhappy about. Whereas, like with say the match against Maxime, if the second day hadn't gone the way it went, I would actually be very unhappy because I missed many opportunities on the first day. So it 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 it, it's, it all depends sort of on a, on a couple of different things. I'll be adopting this guy. I'm going to try to, although I played a very dubious opening. This Jinji Hashavili Indian opening is not really very, very good for uh, for black. That's a free juicer. I will gladly take it. How come you don't play more rapids for practice? Um, I, I don't think the way you practice for rapid is a little bit. I can also eat another juicer. I have, I have like this weird one, but I, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go here, here. It's a forced loss, yes, but my opponent my opponent is 2,800, so he doesn't know how to beat me. Um, let's go here. It is a forced loss, so they know what they're doing. I'm going to go king f7. I'm just going to take. My king is very safe in the center here, so I, I'm not really that worried. Let's go here, though. I do need to trade off some stuff eventually. Let's go here. My king is very comfortable here on e8. I didn't really have to do this though. I could have done this a little bit more cleanly. Okay, but now I go here and he has to trade because everything is under attack and it's like a very nice box for the queen and the rook. Boston accepting a draw in the second to last game. I already spoke about this. I thought that I was, I did not feel like I was playing very good chess today. And I thought that it was better to pin it all in one game with white than to, than to, um, let's to go for the fork, then sort of have a two for one and take a big risk with black and potentially, um, potentially uh, end the match right there. So like, and, and I would say it's the exact opposite way. Um, so like when I played Ding Loren in, um, I forget which event it was, the one where I lost from the quarters, I actually did it the other way where I, I played for, um, I played for the one with black and, um, and I ended up losing the third game and losing the match. But in that case, I felt that I was playing well and I didn't really feel like I was playing very well today. So I didn't see the point in taking huge risks. Or uh, in, in terms of, like, going for broke right away. I mean, in, in hindsight, I guess I should have. But, um, again, it's all relative. Um, I can do this. I don't know if it's good. But it looks cool, I guess, if that's the word. I think we need more luck for the prime. Ham and 10-11 for the prime. Bolilo with the tier 1 and bad parameter with the prime. Thing. Shaktus with the three months. I go H4 to create this uh, checkmate in the corner. I should have eaten Wheaties. Uh, no, I had some really, I had some avocado toast this morning. So I'm, I'm, I'm good, you guys. I, I had a great breakfast. Now I'm just, his king is getting killed here on the, on the edge. What's, what's not a big deal? Sorry, what, what did I say wrong? What's not a big deal? Let's just take and take. What, I'm sorry, what's... Um, wait a second, there's got to be some tactic here. Can I maybe take and go G4 even? 
This looks very creative because if he moves the knight, I get checkmate immediately. So yeah, I didn't feel like I was playing. How much did I earn? I think not much. Like, or sorry, not much. Sorry, um, not as much as I'd made the final. Let's put it that way. Um, I think I made um, I made what seventy five hundred maybe. Let's go C six and D five. Let's play D five. Um, <laughs> okay, you guys. It, it's yeah. Let's play here. Um, let's just go here. <laughs> I uh, seventy five hundred, not seventy five thousand. You guys don't 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 start acting weird. I don't know why I play this opening in an adoption game. Kind of silly. It looks like a weird move. Let's go C5 and chip at a center. I mean, huh. This looks exceptionally weird. I'm just going to take. I can always go King G7 if I want to, or Queen F6 and Queen G7. Um, Wait, he's trying to trap his rook in the corner. How do I do this? I must be winning here. I just have to find the right move. Let's go here. Let's go here. I guess he's got knight g5. No, then I have rook h8. Or e5, too. Sees knight g5, which is, a, which is a good move. Um, I still should be better here, though, with, like, e5 and queen d6. I mean, he's trying to open it up. I mean, this looks so suspicious to me. Do I really want to go bishop f5? That looks very bad. Can we play e4 or something? We can also just go bishop g4, but that looks iffy. Let me think about this for a second. Takes, takes, rook e1. Ah, yes, because I can play f4 and cut the diagonal. That's why this is good, actually, as you guys are going to see in a second. The reason this is good is because I'm going to cut his whole diagonal in, in half. Okay, takes. I thought I could just take. I Yeah, I think I just take, right? So if he takes, I just go bishop f5 and I stop. Or bishop c4, both moves are good. Thank you to Ron Villa for the prime. Thank you to Howells for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Okay, takes, but now I just take. And now the problem is his rook's going to have to go. Because I'm going to go rook h8. I'm still up a pawn. I still have a nice central pawn mass. That's probably a good move. Although, again, I still think I just play like queen d6, consolidate, and rook h8, and I should just be much better here. Because he doesn't really have time. He wants to move the rook away and then attack, use the queen and the rook, but I always can meet it with rook h8. Okay, so he takes, and now I just take, and now I'm very happy. I'm just up a, up a, up a pawn, create the triangle or the pyramid, and... Um, can take which is probably good i can also just go like i think i'll just go here guard the pawn still hit the, hit all the juicers goes queen b4 he's trying to jump in with his queen i'm not really into that kind of thing um just go here and hit the pawn I can play rook h5 here maybe it looks pretty good Let's just target the knight. If knight e4, I will just take and go queen e6 or queen d7. Okay, let's go here. Line up the checkmate in the corner. If he pushes, I jump this way. If he goes back, I mean, I think this is just over. And I'm going to stream my trip to what? Dispensary? What are you even talking about, dude? Come on, seriously. Now I create the checkmates. I hit the juicer. I've got this and this. Let's just take and take. I have this pass pawn, which is important. This one just rolls a day. I just take. No check. Queen holds everything. And just take. Let's go check and make a queen. And classic right triangle checkmate coming up. Here's Zions. Let's keep going. England's got a new queen. Okay, I'm going to go bishop d3. That looks like an ugly move. I'm going to go c4 and b3 and bishop a3 maybe. 
This doesn't look right at all. I'm just gonna go knight g5, and I'm definitely attacking here. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go h4, h5, just attack. If knight b4, I just drop the juicer back, and I kick the kick the horse back in a second. Let's take. I don't know what this is. This looks really bad. I still can just kick the horse. Just take. Let's just go here. Rook h7. It's getting really bad. Oh, I can also do the double rook lift. I can do I can do the rook lift and um, let's do the rook lift and rook h3 and rook h8 and game over. Why couldn't Wesley play like this guy? I mean, Wesley is a much better chess player. Plain and simple. I yeah I said let's do, yeah did I say double lift? I meant do the double rook lift, not do the double lift. After all, double lift is retired, right? That being said, you guys. Speaking of that, I will say since he retired, the one thing the one thing that I would add um, is that like his career, like what he did for North America, kind of in many ways reminds what is that? Let's keep going. Reminds me of me where like my my accomplishments here in the U.S. are, are probably. Um, I mean, not that I haven't been number one in the world at Blitz and all that, but like I, I am very proud of the accomplishments that I've had domestically. What is this guy doing? Let's play d5. One thing you learn in the opening is never put the bishop out like this. Let's go e4, knight e7, knight f5. Let's go here, knight f5. Is this 2800 boosted? I don't think he's boosted. Uh, not not at Blitz, maybe, but I mean, I think in, in Bullet, he's, he's probably boosted. Let's just go here. No, I don't think I'm Bobby Fischer, you guys. No one, no one is Bobby Fischer. Fabiano is the closest thing to Bobby Fischer. Um, so no, I don't think that. Ooh, ooh, this is bad. Why is Fabiano closer? I mean, Fabiano played for a World Championship. That's why. Plain and simple. Just take and go. I guess I'll just go here, line it up. I can always just castle here. It goes bishop d2. I don't really think that does a whole lot. I mean, I think he's still in bad shape. I can take. I guess I'll just castle and go like c6. Maybe I'll just. I don't know what I'm doing actually. I've kind of misplayed this. But what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is f takes e3? That's really bad. Um. I'm gonna go here. Oh, this was terrible though, actually. Why did I do this? He's got Bishop H3. Yikes. I guess I will take and go here and take. Oh, did I just make a blunder? He missed something. I think he missed something that was really, really good there. I'm gonna go F5, close the diagonal. His bishop is bad now. Both bishops are actually really bad. Look at this bishop. There's Swiss cheese everywhere. And the bishop is behind this huge pawn mass that can never go anywhere. So I go here, permanently dominate the bishop. Uh, no squares anywhere. Knight's great. Come back. Swiss cheese? Yeah, I mean, it's just Swiss cheese. There are all kinds of holes here. Let's go Queen G5, and now I can go this way and this way, and it's over. Who would I compare Magnus to? I mean, Magnus is just a once-in-a-lifetime player. I mean, that's that's the reality. He's just, I mean, once-in-a-lifetime player. This is looking like 50-0. <laughs> I mean, it's only 11 right now. I want to go for 20. 20 is my goal. 20 is my long-term goal. Let's just bring the queen back, rotate, and go here. Faker? I mean, yeah, if you have to compare him to someone, I guess that's who you'd compare him to. But, oh, I had a 93 trick that I missed. Anyway, let's go here. Let's go here, force the queens off, just so I can show you guys why this is so bad for my opponent. Magnus is Tom Brady. I'm Peyton Manning. That's, I guess that's a compliment. I mean, I hated Peyton Manning growing up because I rooted for Steve McNair and the Titans, but I guess that's a compliment. Just take and go here. Why does Hikaru know so much about League? Because I am a member of TSM, and, like, you're not allowed to join TSM if you don't know something about League. I don't know who they're going to sign, though, because they only got one of three. Like, they only signed, um, they only signed Sword Art, so I don't know who they're going to get for the other two spots. Let's go g5, kick the knight back. Okay, now I'm going to go here and bishop h5, target this one. His position is so bad. I'm going to go here just to make sure he never gets anything. Look at this white bishop, by the way. It's just a dead bishop. 
Um, his knight, both bishops are dead. Look at the deadness of these bishops. Let's go here. I'm just going to take and go here. Look at these bishops. They're just dead forever. Just two dead bishops. Let's go here. I'm going to go here and bishop g5, I guess. Hit the pawn. The bishops are just dead. They have no scope. They're just behind all these pawns. Restrict it. And I just go here. And I'm just going to take. And it's going to be easy. Easy. He resigns. Let's keep going. Um. Okay. This, I guess, will be the last game. If he's going to start bonging it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, this isn't even fun to play now. If he's going to bong cloud it. Let's go here. He can take the juicer, but I can play like knight f3, knight g5, bishop c4. This is just very, very clean. Uh, this is not Criari. No, this is... um, Criari is better than this. Criari is TL, 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 repeating like 20 gazillion times. Let's go here. Hit the bishop, hit the pawn, hit the queen. Okay, I'll go here. Line up everything. I mean, this is so bad for black. I mean, everything is... Actually, wait. How is this... Oh, do I have knight c... I mean, there's so many... I think I'm going to go for the kill with knight c7. Just prove why you cannot move your king 20 times in the opening. Takes... I mean, rook d6... I mean, this looks terrible. Let's see. Where is the checkmate? King a5. Check here. Check. Oh, that's really doing him dirty. He goes... Actually, i got to be careful. He can go king b4, but he doesn't. And this is just so gross. This is really gross. Look at this. Ooh, this is dirty. Really, really dirty. All right, you guys, I'm going to take a short break, run to the restroom, and I will be uh, right back. So just give me a minute or two. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> 